Gokulam Kerala and he had not won the Go I League with them. He finished runners up. Can he do the unbelievable, the unthinkable? Can he overturn and outdo his former team, Gokulam Kerala? Is the real question here? So many questions. But the answer we will find after 90 minutes as referee Priyabharta Singh kicks us off. It and in fact, it is Andela Rudovic who will put it in. Well defended. It comes out towards Ashir Akhtar. Marcus Joseph takes a shot. But it's a feeble effort from him. Clearances. The calls that are made from the referee. Everything being cheered on by mobs and sporting fans. You mentioned the referees. What a big job. Priyabharta Singh has on his hands. Oh, what an effort. Luka Machin. The football slow. league after what 40 years, I think, oh, with Mormon Sporting got a lot of cheer into oh, this Mormon Sporting supporters as well as this Durant Cup where they lost out to FC Goa in the final. A quality side, but it shows what a run this is from Alex Saji down the right hand side. The defender, oh, what a chance that is for Thai Zaman! But you've got to give credit to Wayne, Van. and the further we go without a goal in this game game management will be very important especially for Gokulam Kerala here is Rahman with the ball in once again Amino is there it's come back towards Fayaz Rahman has another opportunity to cross he does and it is ever so close to Marcus Joseph was there a push on Marcus Joseph like this and we saw him dish out a yellow card earlier on after that he wasn't able to. Here is Andela Rudovic with some space. He plays it towards Marcus Joseph. Is he going to open it up and take a shot? That is a great defending again by Amino. And Joseph smashes that high. And Priyabharta Singh signals that it's time. Of Nikola Stojanovic who has... Who we haven't seen much in the attacking zone. But Nikola... Luka Machin on the turn. Takes that effort on another header from the Gokulam defence. Wayne Vaz with the header. Now this is a counter-attack. Jude and Ronaldo Fletcher will get on the end of it. What has happened here? This could be a goal! Oh my word! What was Mawia doing there? That could have been catastrophic. Thanks, Aman. There you see the nice way that Kukulam Kera likes to build up. And then suddenly that burst of speed. Chance here for Richard who's taking a shot and has put it by Zotan Mawia. Is this the goal that gives Gokulam Kerala the Hero I League title? Look at the celebrations and you can hear the silence in Salt Lake Stadium. But what an iconic goal for Gokulam Kerala. It is Richard who has made it's it a count. moment in the game, I feel, with four with 35 minutes to go if Morbidin Sporting can get back into this it will be here huge here is Marcus Joseph what can he do from this free kick Marcus Joseph and it has gone in it has gone in Marcus Joseph picks up one for Morbidin Sporting and it is game on look at the scenes at the Salt Lake Stadium we have a match on our hands and it is Marcus Joseph who gets uh -huh. goal number six? But the way Mohammed and Sporting are attacking, yeah, it may not one. stay at 1 1. Here is Luca Machin. Once again, he's looked very good coming back into the squad. He plays it wide. Emil Benny takes a shot and he's found the corner. Oh my goodness, Gokulam Kerala have taken the lead once again. And the fans are going crazy. It is Emil Benny. Who has scored on the stroke of the hour mark? What are we witnessing here? And again, the crowd has well, been... They've got to give it a go there. Uh, just under 30 minutes to play. And Fazal Ali does hold on to Uwe's shirt. He keeps going. Fazal still has it. And Fazal, oh, it's gone straight into the hands of Rakshit Dagar. It could have fallen straight to Fazal, but... And Marcus Joseph Ooh. coming very close. Rude, rather, Nikola Stojanovic to take the corner for Mohamedan Sporting. He's put it inside. There's no one challenging for the header. Rahman has a chance. He does play it inside the box. And this could be an own goal. It just goes over the top. My goodness. 
That would have been kind of <laughs> after that a run out of his goal. Takes a lot of pride in his football, does Team Avia, and you can see that every time he gets the ball, he wants to play it forward. So does Fezal. He does play to Frankie Buam. Azar is risen Malik for Fezal Ali, who gets a touch, but that is a great save from Rakshad Dagar, who gets there ahead. Looking at options, back to Buam, who's been lively since coming on. And so is Azar Udin Malik. He's the one who won that free kick and then the ball went off him. Here he is again playing it inside and this could be it. Oh, it's been put wide. How did he miss that? That was the opportunity. Lovely. Mm. Move into the Hero Indian Super League next season. We've seen plenty of them this season. Certainly, oh, that's a good ball. Here is Faisal, he's put it in for Marcus Joseph and he has put that wide. And that could be the Hero I... Had a man to his side. Thanks to Luka Machin. It's clever play from Gokulam Kerala. It's all about game management. They are a few minutes away from the title as Shikutan takes it and the deflection. The CEO of the I League. Azuruddin Malik. Will this be the last attempt from Mohammedan Sporting? Ball this time. Puts it in towards Rudovic who takes a shot. Another big save from Rakshit Dagar. How many times have we seen him pull out saves like that? Rehman with another delivery in. They haven't given up yet. It comes out towards Rudovic who takes a shot. It's saved again by Dagar. It comes out again and it has gone over the top. It is just not more than Sporting's Day. They are doing that. Another ball inside. Luka Machen gets the final touch. And Gokulam Kerala are the champions of the Hero I League for a second consecutive season. The Malabarians have done it. They have created Hero I League history. And they are the champions of India. The winner's trophy of the Hero I League to this year's champions. Gokula!